Hey there everyone, my name is Prakash Mathani and welcome to Learn and Tech. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can install Bootstrap 4 on your Visual Studio 2017. So I have VS 2017 installed in my system and I'll install Bootstrap 4 in my project. So how we can do that? Go in your file section, go in a new website section. In the installed section there is a visual c sharp i'm selecting you can select either visual basic or visual c sharp and i'm going to select asp.net empty website and select the location where you want to save this particular one so i'm going to save it in my desktop and click on ok once your solution is there we'll see how we can install bootstrap 4 in our project So now we have our solution ready. This is our solution name, desktop2. Right click on this. There is manage NuGet packages. Click on this. There is three options, browse, install and update. Go in browse section. Type bootstrap4. And the first one is your bootstrap4 version. You can see that v4.0.0 click on the download one and the pop-up will come up there and click on ok and in the right hand side section you can see that your bootstrap 4.0 has been installed now there's a content folder and a script folder if i go inside a content there is all css and maps file are there and in the script file in a script folder there is all script file are there there is also a proper.js that has been introduced in a bootstrap 4 we'll talk about when we'll be talking about the detailed bootstrap tutorial so this is the way you can install bootstrap 4 in your visual studio project and now we'll create a simple bootstrap page right click on your project go and add section web form click ok there is my default page there what i need to do in a head section i need to include all bootstrap file which are required for this project so one is bootstrap main.css take it and drop it here now from script i need jquery so first of all, I will include bootstrap jQuery 3.0 min version that is there bootstrap min.js I need that which is here I will drop it here and there is a proper.js also so this is proper min.js here now all the file are there what I need to do in a form section there is a div created inside that div I will paste my simple bootstrap code and I will save the project once the project is saved go in a debug section click on start debugging we will see that how it's look in browser section So this is your page will look like in browser so this is the way you can create or install bootstrap for in your visual studio site and can use on your website thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe my channels